Hey everyone, how are you doing? In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to get some easy, quick money in this game. It's called the Breaking. So yeah, I've started a completely fresh game. Done nothing on it whatsoever. So I gave it to try and make twenty thousand dollars each turn so at the moment I've got no intel team I could buy Kev and mates because you get $150 straight away but we're not going to do that what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to select one of these let's do this one steal a hundred dollars worth of items what we're going to do is because we got the bike I'll show you in a minute we get two slots so we always get the light which I don't like because it takes up a hand slot. What I tend to go for is the head flashlight. So that takes up $90. So that keeps a slot free for more stuff to carry. And that's about all you can carry uh, by for such a low price apart from a ladder. But you're not going to need that. And I believe you get a hammer. Oh yeah, you can buy a hammer as well. Okay, there we go. So you've got $10 left. So these are the only two you need in the early stages. For now. Well, it's the only two you can have. Apart from the torch. Because that's the only two slots. Alright, let's go down here. So that's the bike there. What you want to get up to is the pickup truck. So that would be pretty easy once we go with Kev. You can literally get from that to that in like one shot. Once you get the Kev's mission. And you don't even need to worry about the driver, the um, tuk tuk. So our goal in the long run is to get as much money as we can. So we can get all the way up to the cargo truck. But that's going to take a lot of time. Alright, so let's do this mission. As you can see, there's our bike. Would be nice if they gave us the option to colorize it. Rather than just having a default. Uh, default black, sorry. Right, let's go. Ready. So yeah, I believe the bike is the only getaway vehicle that has zero... Um, oh, skipped. A zero fee for the getaway driver. So obviously you're driving it. You're riding the bike, so yeah. Oh, so this is a training one. So you're going to get told what to do in two minutes. So you can climb the trees and get upstairs. Or you can use the flashlight, which you've already got. So steal $100 worth of stuff. Let's grab this fizz. So you usually won't find a swag bag in missions. Obviously this is a tutorial mission. Forgot to do that. So to put stuff in there you right click. Where it says bag, you just right click. And you won't find this in missions either. But as I said it's a tutorial. 
we don't like. But whatever. We can scan that and it tells you how much. So we want a hundred dollars worth of stuff. See, every time you see a camera, you go up to it with your hammer and go smash. You just smash it. So let's scan that. That is fifteen dollars. So we can bag that. Let's scan that. That is twenty dollars. We can bag that as well. I have not found a limit to how much the bag can fit yet. As in a limit of how many things actually fit in there can you fit inside it. So there's a small safe which is worth two thousand dollars. Which is good. So we're gonna grab that. So the heavier the things are, the slower you move. So you just have to remember that. So let's get this into the um, the basket. Sometimes it can be hard for it to get in there, but that's fine. I'm not sure. It says still five thousand five hundred and thirty four dollars worth. So what you can do is unbag by selecting the uh, the uh, swag bag and then clicking the unbag button. Make sure you're right next to where your basket is, otherwise things will just drop out. And well, the little my oh, I think I'll be back there. So. So anything that falls off will not count. So you have to uh, find a way to stack it. Mm. And we have nothing left in our. Uh, actually, we have that. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. That's broken now, but whatever. So let's go see what else is in here. Hmm. So you can also detach things by hitting on the hammer. Like that. Scanning it. And that's only forty dollars, so we're not gonna bother with that. So what we can do is we go up to here, get the lock pick, unlock it. So if you're inside that you need to let someone in, you just flip the lock like that and it unlocks it so when you come across a player not a player an npc in the house you can either sneak around and try and avoid detection or you can temporarily knock them out with this obviously it's just a dummy so it's going to be knocked out permanently, but I believe for the um, real thing, for the real NPCs, they 
I've stayed knocked out for what, about 50 seconds? Maybe less? I haven't exactly timed it, but they do recover. What I find weird is they tell you to find $5,000 worth of stuff in here, but as far as you can see, there is only, what, 3000 So I'm on top of the roof, seeing it as an attic. There should be an attic in here, but I've never seen a entrance to it. Unless I'm blind and I just miss it. So there's the window there. Right, let's go in the house and check. So no entrance there to an attic. No entrance to an attic there either. attic entrance there either so we have got essentially everything that's worth getting and toy. there's no way these would fit in the um, bike so let's go there's nothing in the back garden I don't know why they put the thing so high, it's ridiculous. It's like, if you're going to tell us to get $5,000 worth of stuff, give us $5,000 worth. But you press that when you're about ready to go, and it'll count down from 5 seconds. If you're in the multiplayer, everyone will have to click it. Okay, so here is the breakdown board, so the hall. So we got the small safe, which was two thousand dollars. The old computer, which was twenty, a smashed monitor because I dropped it in, which was one point five dollars. The game machine controller, which was ten. TV remote, which was one. The fake gold bar, which was two hundred. So it seems like. You do not need to put the item out of your um, bag into the um, basket. I thought you had to put it in, which is news to me. So good news. We can now come here, click on the Intel team, click change. Go right, and as you can see, you get multiple Intels. You buy Kev and Meats. You go back, and there you go. So, what I want to do is I want to find a there you go. So, that's it. these are good item, good missions to do for what I've got in mind so it's a steal five items and it's one and a half stars so with that you're gonna likely run into one npc you're gonna have some good money in there and you're gonna have probably maybe one or two cameras so now that we got the money, we can take and unequip the flashlight because we need to steal items and we don't want to fill up our basket too much. We want to find and buy and equip the swag bag. That way you can store the small stuff in your bag without filling up your basket you don't need to worry about how much they are because as it says 
just steal five items. It doesn't matter what you get. Okay, yeah, let's go. So this will be our first official mission with Kev and me. So let's go. And then I will show you what I really reckon is the best way to make money. Okay, so here we are in a house. What we need to do first is make sure we get the items that we bought. So they just randomly drop in. I never showed you that, but I'll show you it later. They randomly drop in from above, which is very annoying. So what we could do is we could complete this very easy by grabbing that. That can't fit. So it doesn't matter what you steal. If you are a swag bag, you can easily get five items. As you can pop me here, the person, the NPC is inside playing drums. Okay, so there is the camera. It detected us. Do it is go up and smash like that. Okay. So now we are done. Is we have got the items. We don't want to fight that. We want to fight that. So even though it doesn't show that we got the items, we're going to run back. We're going to place these in the basket. thing about these is you can either steal them or eat them <laughs> which is fun so now we have to find a way in and luckily for us we already triggered the security camera which made the person open this door which gave us a way in. And now what you want to do is look at this. Drop it in. We want to come here, unlock the door, open it. And then we want to cause a reason for the person to come out. Now we wait for the NPC to come out. And then you'll see why this is such a good technique. smash 
Come here. There you go. So you want to smash me down. Grab him. As I said before, it is slow. The heavier the item, the slower it is. Okay. So, as soon as you get him on the basket, he is counted as loot. Sometimes it is a right pain in the butt to do. No, oh, come here. Back. Yes, there we go. Yeah. Sometimes it won't let you hit them a second time, which is very annoying. But other times it will. So he should be in the basket. Hopefully this works. No. What? Okay, so that is strange. It says I didn't get any of the items, which I did. Right, let's try that again. So if you can't find any of the um, ones you need, then you can always click this button to refresh it. This one would be good, because this way we know if we got the person at the basket, because it will count it as a high value. Right, so let's go to our next one. There is a better way to do this. But that will take more item slots. Okay, so as you can see right there, there's my bag. There's my hammer. With this being a bigger house, it's going to be a little bit harder. But we want attention as quick as we can. So the way we would know if it's counted is if the bottom left bar is full up. There you go. But sometimes when you let go of them they throw rather than drop. See? Oh there you go, quick. So that is counted now. Just got a uh, hope that it doesn't come back. And there you go. So we got one person. It took us, what, a minute, maybe two minutes? And we made $20,000. The best part is, with that $20,000 that we just made, we can now buy the pickup truck. There we go. And now it is even easier to do that because you've got all this space in the back and best of all, you now have an extra slot, which I recommend buying 
if you're just gonna do the residence one, you want fire firecrackers because they are loud and they bring the residents to you. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, just favorite hit that subscribe button and comment below what's your favorite mission and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you in the next video thanks for stopping by and have a good day